painful moments in life, God, that you don't like to go through. But nevertheless, they bring you out of the painful line and into the wonderful line. Where peace that passes all understanding is no longer just a phrase that folks toss around. We get a glimpse of what it means. When you look at circumstances and things just don't add up. But that peace comes. And we're reminded, God, of what you told us in Hebrews, how you uphold all things by the word of your power. Uh You tell us that it's in you that we live and breathe and move and have our being. I think of Colossians 1 where the Bible says you created all things and it's (laughs) through you that it's sustained and it consists. We're reminded today, Lord, that the whole molecular structure of this universe held together by that atom There's only one person that controls that. And if you weren't doing it, our world would explode. We could not even take our next breath if it wasn't for a faithful God. I thank you for the faith that you placed in Jim Pitcher. I thank you for the faith that that little church in Alabama is standing on this morning. And I thank you that we can know it right well. We don't know what tomorrow holds, but we know who holds tomorrow. What blessed assurance. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name.
song. I hope it's yours today, friend. I praise Him, my Savior, all the day long. This is my story, yes. This is my song. I praise my Savior all the day long. I don't care what happens in life, friend. I'm praising my Savior. God to show up. No. I just feel like somebody needed to hear that today. Amen. Hallelujah. And that was a whole lot more important than Amen. some outline. God doesn't need a message. He is the message. Amen. Amen. That's right. When we figure that out, the happy we're going to be. Let's praise Him all the day long. Amen. Let's know it right well. Let's don't stay in that painful line when we can get in the wonderful line. That's right. That's where I want to live. And that's where I want to point people to. And I hope when our family comes to mind that you will pray for us, that we'll be able to do that that's right. more effectively. May God bless the preaching of His Word. Pastor, I guess I'll turn it over to you. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to put up with this for 30 years. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not preaching tonight, amen. <laughs> i got a good message. I always I hate to follow up a guy like that. You know, I'd hate to sing after him, wouldn't you? I'm, I'm serious. I mean, you know. Good. He is. Sometimes God call, God calls evangelists and then God calls us, right? Yeah. I mean, it's a special it's a special gift to preach, a special gift to be an evangelist. And I said that every year he came to our church. Every year I came to church, I said, "Dismiss tonight. We're not going to preach." <laughs> not really. I really didn't do that. <laughs> but I'm just saying is I, I kind of want to do that. But what's interesting is people would be saved. We were talking about that earlier. There are now young people that got saved in our church who grew up in our church, had children in our church, and now their children are having children. We're getting old, and they're in church. The seed been planted, and now the grandchildren of the parents that got saved are still in church. The reason I know that because I'm on Facebook with them. They didn't yeah. like me when I, they didn't like me when I was there. <laughs> but now that they're in church, they like us, and yeah. they say all kinds of nice comments, especially about charity. So just because they don't, you know. Anyway. <laughs> but they would say they would say to me after after Angie, I want her to sing. You gonna sing? And and, and um, after after. What's his name? Left. Over there. Don't you feel bad that uh, after he's here, people get saved, and when you leave, nobody gets saved? I said, I just get them ready for the saving, and when he comes, he just moves them out. That's right. Because it takes two, don't it? Yeah. We were talking about that, yeah. so we're glad of it. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Alan and Angie and the family, and pray that you continue to bless them as you have. Thank you for your word. Be with our fellowship that we have here after, and the food that we're about to receive. And we'll give you thanks in Christ's name. We pray. Amen. I have a and the offering will be back in the back, and everybody put in a hundred dollars when you leave. Sorry. Yes.
What? Could Johnny play? He's still working on me. Johnny could sing it and they could sing it.